Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Following a critically acclaimed sold-out run at the Mitzi Newhouse Theater, J.T. Rogers' new play, Oslo, which is directed by Bartlett Schur, has opened at the Vivian Beaumont Theater. And we're here on opening night at Lincoln Center to celebrate with the company. Welcome back to Broadway, my friend. Thank you. you are so wonderful on this show. How do you feel tonight on the Broadway opening of Oslo? Oh, it, oh no, it's just it, it's just thrilling. I mean, the broad the Broadway opening is a show like no other, as you well know. Oh yeah. And um, and it's very hard to come down from. Um, but I uh, but uh, this was an astonishing night with a with a with a gorgeous supportive audience, uh, and we are so very proud of this play and of J T and of Bart and uh, and the great gift of. Of, of getting to do something off Broadway and then going away for six months and then coming back and reinvestigating it. How often does that happen? I mean, it is a rare thing and a great luxury, and I dare say it's essential to the American theater for us to do things, come back to them, do them again and again. And I, I, I want this to happen more often. Yeah. Working with Bart Scher. Yeah. He is by far the most rigorous uh, director I've ever worked with, never satisfied. I alternately want to kill Barlett Chair and worship him, you know, at his feet. He's, 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 uh, he's like no other. He brings this sort of uh, Jesuitical rigor uh, to the work. And he would rehearse every day for the, through the course of the run. And that is thrilling. To have someone that takes that amount of interest in every moment that happens on the stage and wants to revisit it, wants to change it. We had notes today on opening night. We rehearsed. He adjusted some things, and I'm sure he'll come back the last week of the run and say, you know, let's try this, you know. And that's what keeps it alive, that's what keeps it fresh and ever-growing. Working with this cast? Yeah, it's, I mean, Bartlett said, I'm quoting, but he says this is, I, mean, he's, I don't think he was lying, um, but an extraordinary bunch, a true ensemble. People have come up to me and said this is one of the best ensembles they've seen of, of fiercely talented, uh, generous actors who are also willing to fight with each other. So it's been a great experience, yeah. It feels like a true company. When you took your bow tonight, back yeah. on Broadway in Oslo, do you remember what you were thinking? Yeah, I, my bows are kind of eccentric. And, and Jennifer laughs at me because I mutter throughout. It's like, okay, I guess we should bow now. All right, let's go down. One, two, three, and up we go. Do you think we should hold a few seconds longer? Before? Anyway, I, I'm kind of a mess because b bowing is being yourself in front of an audience, and I'd much rather be a character. What's it been like revisiting it, the show this time around? It's been very, very interesting because I was very proud of, of what the way it was before. But, you know, Bart actually approached this. We had, you know, a rehearsal period just the same as we would if, as if we were starting the show. And we were able to revisit things and, and, and take very certain specific things in mind. Like, let's ratchet up the tension between both groups so whenever there is an agreement, that's a bigger breakthrough. But there was a lot more nuance available, as well as adjusting to the space and, and taking advantage of, of what the space can give us, you know, that's different than the other space. Well, it is your second opening night with Oslo. How does it feel tonight? It's fantastic. It's such a great space. It's really powerful and fun. And uh, we get so much back from the audience tonight. It was glorious in that sense. But every night, I mean, the house in this space behaves like a different animal. And it's just gorgeous and delicious. Yeah. I fell in love with it first down at the Mitzi, yeah, yeah. and then I saw it again up here. And it, yeah. Is it different for you? I think, I think it is. I mean, I feel like this material is large material. You know, the ideas are big, the personalities are big. And so filling this space, it, it almost gives us more permission to send it out. Uh, we have to, technically. Uh, but, but that permission that the space gives us is glorious. I fell in love with this like many people did downstairs in the Mitzi. What's it been like for you moving upstairs to the Vivian Beaumont and revisiting the piece? It's been nothing but positive. I think having a chance to revisit a piece after, with it, after it's had a gestation period with the same company, with the same director, with the same producers, I mean, it's an incredible privilege and uh, very, very rare. And so to have six months off and then revisit it and work with a director like Bart who 
actually will re-explore and not just remount. Um, it's been really, really exciting, and it still is. <laughs> Your other actors said it was like starting from scratch. Bart started. Let's start. Let's look at this all over again. Yes, absolutely. We like unwo you know, unwove it, and then kind of saw how it wanted to go back together in this in this space, and um, and I think it loves the space, and the space loves it. Yeah. Quite a history with the playwright. Talk, how did you get to know JT? Well, we were at the North Carolina School of the Arts at the same time. He was a year ahead of me, and we only were there for a year together at the same time. But he actually used to write speeches, and he had to kind of do it anonymously because the, the staff didn't like the fact that people were doing monologues that weren't from published plays. So he, he would make up pseudonyms. and. We would, and he gave me a speech to do one day, which for a freshman was a it was a big deal to be to be chosen by JT. So, so what's it like coming full circle with him now? He's such a brilliant playwright, and what a gorgeous play! He's an extraordinary playwright. Uh, in a way, it's like starting over because we didn't know each other terribly well, but we do have this. There's a there are reverberations of you know um, fate that are there that are. Um, that are lovely. Working with this cast, what it's meant to you? It's a beautiful cast. It's a great cast. I mean, uh, sort of combined in the room, there's probably 4,000 years of theater experience in that room. So there's, there's nothing you don't see explored. There's nothing you don't see experienced in the room. And there's no, no, there's no aspect of the craft that you don't see expressed on stage every night, because it's different every night. It's a great cast. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? Uh, relieved, excited, um, very emotional. It was an emotional night. It was, uh, it was, um, the show really crackled tonight. They were really with us and it's opening night. So we're carrying a lot of that excitement with us as well onto the stage. So, yeah. so I know you're doing a double interview. You don't work together in the show, do you? We, Only in we, passing. We have a little moment that we share that we, we don't do. know if the audience ever catches, but we, we we have a little hello to each other. I told her earlier this evening that I look forward to it almost every night. That we as, as soon as I drop that table off and uh, turn up stage and she walks in and we give ourselves a little hi. It's about all we've got in the show, I think. We're on stage a lot together, but we don't do a lot of uh, interacting. So. I cherish that moment. Thank you. you yeah. know, isn't that great that people can come to the theater and be moved and see both sides and see the whole picture? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's that's the part of it is because there is two sides to every story and it's something that uh, we firmly believe, we believe in as a cast, that you have to uh, represent both sides and see both sides and see both points of view, but see them. You know, I think, I don't need to go into it, but in this country, right now in the climate that we live in it's it's hard for certain people and factions to even hear or see the other side and that's a no-no even if you if you disagree with somebody to the point of hatred you have to be able to sit down and talk to people because that's the only way you resolve it not by pointing fingers and going fuck you but being able to sit down and talk about it you know so when you took your bow tonight on broadway do you remember what you were thinking I was, I was crying and I was thinking how surreal is this because I grew up on the East Coast and even though I, you know, you, everybody wants to do film and television, it was all about theater. I used to walk these streets, I used to walk the Broadway streets with my friend Alex Leach and we used to look at the marquees going one day, one day and I never thought that one day would come. I just didn't because I'm not a musical theater person. and. There's a lot of musical theater there, so to get to Broadway doing this has, has been pretty... Uh, I, I, it's, it's, the odds are, were stacked against me, but it's a miracle in a way. What an incredible cast, this incredible ensemble you have. Yeah, it is. They are, I mean, we spent, I've never spent so long casting a play because of the odd particular requirements of every part. 13, 14, 14 actors. You see, I can't even keep track, there's so many playing, let's say, 30 speaking roles with different nationalities and sub-nationalities. But the, the collective talent, I mean, they are remarkable. And they're the kind of actors that you cherish working with as a writer because they're, the analogy I would use is that they are thoroughbreds and they're just built to run. And so what's liberating for you as the author is any time one of, any time a thoroughbred stumbles, it's always the track's fault. So you go, oh, that speech isn't working. Give me the speech back. 
I'll bring it back tomorrow. Maybe it's a word, maybe it's a comma, maybe it's the whole speech. And then the questions they ask are always so, you know, I'm, I'm wondering why I do this and 14 pages earlier I said this and you think, ah, oh, thank you for being so smart. Yes, let me, let me tweak that. It's a gorgeous play. The company taking their bow tonight on Broadway. What were you thinking when they took their bow? Uh, I was actually thinking about the three acting teachers that as a child taught me who aren't alive anymore and thinking thank you. Thank you for introducing me to the theater.